It's time for Rick Bentley's TV Beat television program. Stay tuned for former Fresno Bee media and entertainment writer Rick Bentley as he brings the TV Beat column to television with the latest news of what's happening in local radio, television, and more. And now, here's Rick Bentley. Hello, and a very hearty welcome to another edition of TV Beat with Rick Bentley. It still sounds a little weird saying my name rather than seeing it in print. As always, this is a show designed to keep you updated on what's going on in local TV and radio. I hope you're having a good summer of television binge watching. Now, for those of you who are back in school or only days away from returning, it's time to figure out how you can uh, watch your favorite TV shows when you're, you miss them because of, oh, let's say, homework or a school event or something else. Uh, you're a lot luckier than when I was in school. If I missed an episode of a, of a favorite show, I had to wait until the summer when the programs were aired in reruns. You now have on-demand, Hulu, Netflix, online services, and even entire seasons on DVD. Lucky you. It won't be long until the new uh, fall TV season launches, and there'll be a lot of new shows for you to watch. I plan to get you updated with this episode. Okay, it's time to take a break. I shouldn't have to remind you, as always, make sure you have a pencil and paper handy or an iPad or something, because I'll be giving you some inf important information along the way. Uh, this is stuff you're going to need to know later on. Now, after the break, I'm going to talk to you about what's in the future when it comes to network television. Be right back. Well, I'm going to the beach where I belong. It's Pepsi Nights. Wednesday and Thursday nights after 5. Bring a Pepsi can and get unlimited rides for just $14.95. Including new rides like Shockwave. And Typhoon. <laughs> it's after 5. Wednesday and Thursday night. $14.95 unlimited rides. That's so cool. At the Santa Cruz Beach Boardwalk. In the warm California sun. Boardwalk. Nice city. Protecting your home and family is as easy as Safeco. It's easier than this, or this, or even this. For over 30 years now, Safeco has been the local company offering simple protection to homes and businesses. They service and monitor most systems, so you don't have to resort to this. Protecting your home or business is as easy as Safeco. This summer, the choice is easy. Pick fun at Wild Water Adventure Park. There are so many ways to splash away the summer in our 52 cool shady acres, full of rides, slides, and awesome adventures for everyone. You can score with every ride on Kaleida Slide. It's part water slide, part video game, and totally cool. So come run the rapids, ride the slides, or play all day in Adventure Bay. Whatever you choose, Wild Water Adventures has a full day of fun for everyone. The coolest choice this summer is Wild Water Adventure Park in Clovis. News. We've got the answer. Opinion. We've got the answer. Insight. We've got the answer. AM 1680 is the answer. With news and opinion every morning on The Hugh Hewitt Show. Live and local talk with Jim Franklin at 8. Plus Dennis Frager at 9. Dave Ramsey with Financial Peace, noon till 3. And now the all-new Larry Elder Show, afternoons 3 to 6. Now, Fresno has the answer for conservative news, opinion, and insight. AM 1680, the answer. Well, welcome back to TV Beat with Rick Bentley. Now, as I told you on the last show, I, I recently spent almost two weeks in Los Angeles as a member of the Television Critics Association. Now, the writers, we get together twice a year to look at uh, upcoming television programs. Now, I know I told you when I started this show that I would concentrate on what was happening locally as far as TV and radio was concerned. But what I've learned over the, all those years of writing for the Bee is that many of you think any television is considered to be local. That's why I'm going to talk uh, this week about some trends I, I saw when it comes to the 2017-2018 TV season you'll be watching here in Fresno. Now, one of the biggest trends is that everything old is new again. CBS has already been airing new versions of Hawaii Five-0 and MacGyver. Uh, but you can now see four more blasts from the past on the schedule. Two of them are remakes, including a new dynasty on the CW network and SWAT on CBS. 
Now, the original Dynasty launched in 1981 and starred John Forsythe, Linda Evans, and Joan Collins. Uh, this nighttime soap opera followed the antics of the Carrington family in Denver, who had more money than Trump. Uh, the updated version features a relatively unknown cast, except for Grant Show, who takes on the role of Blake Carrington. Uh, Nathalie Kelly has been tagged to take on the role of the manipulative Crystal. Now, for some odd reason, the action shifts from Denver to Atlanta, but all of the soap opera elements remain. Now, another remake is SWAT on CBS. Shamar Moore, who spent years starring on Criminal Minds, is the lead actor that follows the elite segment of the Los Angeles police force. Now, it's been 42 years since SWAT debuted on television. The odd thing about, about this new version is that, except for using the theme song from the original series, this version of SWAT could have been called, oh, let's say, police or tough cops or anything, as the similarities between the new and the old show are very, very thin. Then there are two shows returning with the original cast. ABC is bringing back, get this, Roseanne with the original actors. Now, when I say original actors, I mean that John Goodman will be back. Fans of that show that aired from 1988 to 1997 remember that his character of Dan Connor was killed off. This is TV, and so no one is completely dead. The same kind of manipulation will be going on as NBC is bringing back Will and Grace. Now, when the series ended its run back in 2006, there was a lot of elements that tied up the series. Uh, those behind the news shows are going to, to pretend like a lot of those things just never happened. The return of Will and Grace was sparked by a short online video that the original cast made in secret to talk about the election. What they put online, it got so many hits, the decision was made to bring that cast back together. There's money there. And as you can tell from the clip of, of the cast at a dedication for the soundstage where they'll be filming, Eric McCormick is really excited about the return of Will and Grace. Uh, this is incredible. I, I, was just, I was just saying to my wife, I wonder uh, what it will be like to, uh, to kiss a man again. Yeah. <laughs> there it is. There it is. Nicely done. <laughs> It's just like riding a bike. <laughs> a, uh, a girl's bike. Thank Comcast for building, because we brought the tax credits back. It's about 300 and something million a year. We need 500 million and something a year when the legislature renews them for all the folks that you see here. So thank you for believing in this town. Back to the resolution. Whereas Will and Grace is a global phenomenon, having been aired in 60 countries around the world, now, therefore, I, Eric Garcetti, as mayor of the City of Angels, and on behalf of the people of the city of Los Angeles, welcome Will and Grace back to Los Angeles. With all the shows coming back, I guess I should not give up hope on a new version of, say, F Troop or My Favorite Martian. All right. Another big trend this fall is the number of television shows that will be uh, dealing with the military. NBC will air The Brave at 10 p.m. Mondays, while The CW has scheduled Valor for 9 p.m. Mondays. The CBS entry into the war world is SEAL Team to air at 9 p.m. Wednesdays. The Brave looks at the complex world of America's elite uh, undercover military heroes, led by DIA Deputy Director Patricia Campbell and her team of analysis. Uh, while Adam Dalton and his special ops squad of highly trained undercover operatives save lives of innocent people. Oh, you, you've heard about this, this show. It's the same sort of military thing you've heard before. But anyway, they go to all places all over the world. Now, Valor, star, Valor stars Christina Ochoa and Matt Barr as combat helicopter pilots with the American uh, Army Rangers, who find themselves at the center of a mysterious conspiracy following a mission that's gone horribly awry. Yes, conspiracies. And on SEAL Team, David Boreanaz makes the jump from Bones to this military-based series. I say military-based because those behind the shows don't, uh, they don't see these shows as being about, uh, only being about the military. Uh, SEAL Team executive producer uh, Benjamin Cavell told me, uh, and I'm quoting here, I don't think our show is about the military. 
I think it's about the people who do this work rather than a, about the work itself in some way. I don't know what uh, the prevailing mood is and how that affects whether people are going to watch our show, but uh, I think we want to be true to the people we know who do this for a living. And frankly, the things that they do transcend politics. They don't look at the results of elections and then decide whether they want to remain in the military or they want to go on following the orders to do the missions that they uh, get set on. They, they do that work no matter who's in the White House and whether they voted for that, uh, that person or not. All right, either way, one of the trends for the fall is military shows. All right, it's time for one of those pesky commercial breaks. Uh, in the next segment, I, uh, I think I'm going to take a look at uh, what can happen when someone has uh, so much success with a network that uh, they get to do whatever they want. We'll be right back. If you're looking for an in-ground safe, record safe, or depository safe at unbelievably low prices, Paul Havens to the rescue. If you want a gun safe, large or small, at amazing saving, Paul Havens to the rescue. If you need to protect your precious valuables from fire and theft, Paul Havens to the rescue. For alarm monitoring, installation, locks, keys, and a huge selection of safes at great prices, there's just one thing to remember. Paul Havens to the rescue. This summer, the choice is easy. Pick fun at Wild Water Adventure Park. There are so many ways to splash away the summer in our 52 cool shady acres, full of rides, slides, and awesome adventures for everyone. You can score with every ride on Kaleida Slide. It's part water slide, part video game, and totally cool. So come run the rapids, ride the slides, or play all day in Adventure Bay. Whatever you choose, Wild Water Adventures has a full day of fun for everyone. The coolest choice this summer is Wild Water Adventure Park in Clovis. Hello, welcome to Alberto's restaurant. Come on in. At Alberto's you will have a new experience at great Italian dining. We have fantastic pasta dishes like fettuccine alfredo and eggplant parmesan. And you have to come in and try the chicken marsala and the calamari con limone. I take great pride in everything I prepare and I know you will love it. And what's dinner without a little wine? At Alberto's we have a great selection of wines to go with your dinner. Alberto's Restaurante in Pacific Road. Come and see us tonight. Salute. Great news if you like music like this. It's KJOY, KJOI, with Fresno's all time favorites, a unique variety of the music you know and remember. Tell us we're too young. Great songs. Great memories. KJOY, KJOI, 104.3 FM, on TV channel 16.1, and on the web at KJOI.org. All the news about the 2017-2018 TV season isn't about remakes and war. It would not be a TV season if I didn't mention the continued growth of television shows based on comic books. Now, one of the biggest shows this fall will be The Inhumans on ABC, starring Anson Mount and Sorinda Swan. It goes along with The Gifted on Fox. That, it, that show's tied to the X-Men universe. How ABC is rolling out The Humans is really interesting. This show isn't scheduled to launch until the end of September, but the first two episodes will be linked together and shown on the big screen. And when I say big screen, I mean IMAX. Let's take a look at The Inhumans. Sooner or later, the humans are going to find us up here. You should have known this day was coming. Are we supposed to follow our king and remain as silent as he is? We need to go to Earth now. We've been hiding here too long. Let's go to our rightful home. If we were on Earth, we would have a glorious planet to live on, thrive on! You're talking about betraying your brother. You're talking about treason. You're blind to his intentions. Right or wrong, he's dangerous. What I'm talking about is freedom. Freedom for all inhumans. Are you going to use your voice to kill your only brother? Stop it! 
Anything stop us. We will create our destiny. Ah! Nothing can keep us from being free. <clears throat> On September 1st, the Inhumans will have a the theatrical run as a way of teasing potential viewers to the series. It's a very bold move for the network because if it works, they get a hit. But if it is a bigger-than-life dud, oh, that series could be over before it starts. But it has more potential than The Gifted because the connection to the, uh, the Marvel Universe for The Gifted is very thin. It has to do with which studios have the rights to Marvel characters. That's too complicated to get into. The problem I have with the first episode is that it reminds me way, way too much of the NBC series Heroes. And that series struggled to stay afloat after only one season. Now here's a clip from Gifted. See if you have the same reaction that I did. Are you still going to the dance tonight? Want me to show you some of my moves? <laughs> oh, thank you. I used to Oh my gosh. Hey, look who's here. Why didn't you tell me? I'm so sorry. How do you think we got out of that ship? You too. Did you hear about the mutant incident? Those are my kids. The X-Men, the Brotherhood, we don't even know if they exist anymore. With the Sentinel services, we have to go now. Stay out of sight. There is nothing more important to me than my family. That was when I ruled the world. Okay, no matter whether The Gifted is a hit or a miss, the comic book trend will continue with Black Lightning waiting in the wings. Comic book shows continue because they keep having success, and Hollywood is all about being successful. That's no more clear than uh, with Seth MacFarlane and Fox. Now, MacFarlane has been able to give the network a long-running hit with Family Guy. It's the animated series has been so successful that the, uh, the network has allowed McFarlane to move ahead with his live action science fiction show called The Orville. The series looks a lot like Star Trek as McFarlane plays the captain of an exploratory vessel that ends up getting in the middle of big messes. Heard that one before. The original commercials made it look like this would be a, a full-on spoof of the Star Trek world, but the series ends up being really kind of a serious attempt to do sci-fi. The show looks good, and I'm a big fan of Adriana Pilecki, who plays the first mate. She was supposed to play Wonder Woman on a series NBC was going to launch a few years ago, but oh, that show got canceled before it ever got on the air. So she deserves a better fate than that and this show. If the Orville had uh, been a spoof, it could have been a, a space-traveling version of Naked Gun. As it is, the show looks mm, like Fox told McFarlane, Hey, you know what? It's okay to do a TV show out of the fan fiction you've been writing. Uh, there are some good shows this fall, uh, including the CBS comedy Me, Myself, and I, starring uh, SNL graduate Bobby Moynihan and, and John Larroquette. The show looks at a man's life through three different time periods. Uh, I also like the new ABC medical drama, The Good Doctor. Freddie Hightower, who did such a masterful job as Norman Bates on The Bates Motel, plays a young autistic man who becomes a surgeon. Now, this is from the same people that brought you House. Okay, that's it for the fall season. When we come back, it'll be time to get you caught up on what's going on with some local news. I'll be right back. News. 
We've got the answer. Opinion. We've got the answer. Insight. We've got the answer. AM 1680 is the answer. With news and opinion every morning on The Hugh Hewitt Show. Live and local talk with Jim Franklin at 8. Plus Dennis Frager at 9. Dave Ramsey with Financial Peace, noon till 3. And now the all-new Larry Elder Show, afternoons 3 to 6. Now, Fresno has the answer for conservative news, opinion, and insight. AM 1680, the answer. Great news if you like music like this. It's KJOY, KJOI. With Fresno's all-time favorites, a unique variety of the music you know and remember. Tell us we're too young. Great songs. Spreading the news. Great and memories. KJOY. KJOI. 104.3 FM. On TV channel 16.1. And on the web at KJOI.org. You know us. We're the Fresno Breakfast House. A great place for breakfast or lunch. Did you know we have a beautiful banquet facility? The Grand Banquet Room, adjacent to the Fresno Breakfast House. It's one of Fresno's newest event venues. Our location makes the perfect event center for bridal and baby showers, birthday parties, award ceremonies, family reunions, holiday parties, and conferences. Our lovely venue includes AV equipment and can host up to 130 guests. We combine casual elegance with unbeatable values. Call the Grand Banquet Room for your next occasion. Ginza's Finer Dining is a culinary pleasure for fans of Asian cuisine. Our menu features interesting textures, aromatic flavors, combined with beautiful presentations wrapped all together in a sophisticated atmosphere to make your visit here a memorable experience. Ginza, it is a masterful mix of Chinese, Japanese, Korean, Thai, sushi, and hibachi grill-style dishes. We hope you enjoy eating at Ginza as much as we enjoy serving you. Here we go with what's been happening in local TV and radio since the last show. At ABC 30, Veronica Miracle has left and is headed to the ABC affiliate in Los Angeles. Now, she's been with the local ABC station since 2014 when she was hired as a general assignment reporter. KFSN News Director Michael Carr tells me that uh, a search has started for her replacement. Uh, Miracle is a graduate of the Moreau College of Communication at Washington State University. She studied broadcasting journalism and political science uh, when she wasn't backpacking across India. Miracle was born in Osaka, Japan, and that's where a lot of her family still lives today. Before coming to Fresno, Miracle began her career of bro uh, broadcasting work with KLEW-TV in Lewiston, Idaho. During her time there, she was a, uh, a general assignment reporter, and she did the evening news anchoring job. All right, there's also been a change at KMPH. Wendy Lane, who has been a, uh, a reporter for the station's 10 o'clock news and part of the Great Day uh, morning team, has left the local Fox affiliate to take a job at a TV station in Tampa. KMPH General Manager Jack Peck says the search has started to find a replacement for her. Uh, Lane grew up in Greenfield, Iowa. She received a BA in journalism from the uh, University of Iowa. She also attended the School for Broadcasting at the New York Film Academy in New York City. Now, before coming to Fresno, Lane worked in Des Moines, Iowa and Casper, Wyoming. Now, I'll keep you posted on the efforts to find the replacements for those, uh, those two reporters. Should have an update in a few weeks. Now, for a while there, it looked like there was going to be a big change at Me TV since, uh, that's, since 2011. Mark Sheeran, the head man at Ventura TV, has been part of a deal with Coca-Cola Broadcasting to run Channel 43.6. The idea behind the move was that Sheeran would uh, have full-time access to promoting his business, and it allowed him to get uh, into the TV world. Uh, that world continued to grow as he leased more channels from Coca-Cola. Now, Sharon not only used the station to promote his, his store, but he expanded the local programming with news and weather reports, plus the weekday talk show, Connect With Me, hosted by veteran newsman John Malos. But the deal for Channel 43.6 looked like it was scheduled to end at the beginning of August. It took some very late-night negotiations, but the two sides finally came together, and that deal has continued. So you'll keep seeing Ventura's connection to MeTV. All right, 
I want to finally look at uh, some very good news for Fresno's Audra McDonald. The Tony, Grammy, and Emmy Award winner has joined the cast of The Good Fight. Now, that's available through the uh, streaming service of CBS All Access. She can be seen there when the second season of the spinoff of The Good Wife debuts in early 2018. Now, McDonald will reprise the role of Liz Lawrence, the tough United States attorney she played on The Good Wife. In the new series, it's going to be revealed that she is the ex-wife of Adrian Bozeman, who's played by Delroy Lindo. And over the course of the season, the two will have to deal with many of their unresolved issues. McDonald is the winner of a record six Tony Awards, making her the most decorated actor in Broadway history. Way to go, Fresno. She was named one of Time Magazine's 100 Most Influential People of 2015 and received a 2015 National Medal of Arts Award. Now, in addition to her Tony-winning performance in Carousel, Masterclass, Ragtime, A Raisin in the Sun, The Gershwins, Porgy and Bess, and Lady Day at Emerson's Bar and Grill. She uh, appeared on Broadway in such productions as The Secret Garden, uh, Maria Christine, Henry IV, 110 in the Shade, and Shuffle Along with the Making of the Musical Sensation of 1920 and all that followed. Oh, out of breath after that one. McDonald's television credits include The Sound of Music Live and Private Practice. Her recent film credits include Ricky and the Flash, and you probably saw her in the Disney's 2017 live action remake of Beauty and the Beast. She was marvelous in that. Probably the only thing good about it. McDonald joins the cast as a regular alongside Emmy Award winner Christina Baranski, Rose Leslie, Lindo, as I mentioned, Sarah Steele, and Just Justin Bartha. Well, that's all I have this week for you as far as local news is concerned. I'll be back in a moment with a final thought or two. So make sure you've got that pencil paper handy. i got to do something for you to jot down. Uh, and I'll be back in just a moment. This summer, the choice is easy. Pick fun at Wildwater Adventure Park. There are so many ways to splash away the summer in our 52 cool shady acres full of rides, slides, and awesome adventures for everyone. You can score with every ride on Kaleida Slide. It's part water slide, part video game, and totally cool. So come run the rapids, ride the slides, or play all day in Adventure Bay. Whatever you choose, Wildwater Adventures has a full day of fun for everyone. The coolest choice this summer is Wildwater Adventure Park in Clovis. Richard's, a valley dining tradition, serving great food since 1969, including Richard's famous deluxe dinner for two, multiple choices at a fixed price, great tasting steaks or seafood, Richard's deluxe dinner for two, a favorite, it even includes wine. A Central Valley dining tradition on historic Belmont off 180. Follow our neon sign to Richard's, where you'll find something special and something good right on the menu. Well, that's this week's show, and I'd like to thank you for tuning in. Your support is greatly appreciated, whether you have found the show for the first time or have seen every episode. Bless you if you've seen every episode. I want to thank NBC, Fox, and ABC for the use of their clips from their new shows. Now, I still need you to spread the word that TV Beat with Rick Bentley is being broadcast on KGMC Channel 43.5, also known as Antenna TV. Those who have cable can watch the program on Comcast Cable, cable Channel 378. The first thing of the show will be on Saturdays, as always, at 6.30, as you saw now. I say the first thing because the time and dates of additional playings of the, of the episodes will be listed at my website of www.rickbentleytvbeat.com. It's very important to hear from you. To contact me, just send an email to, here we go, rb at rickbentleytvbeat.com. Really, reach out to me. So until next week, happy TV viewing. I hope you tune in again. As always, I appreciate you being here. Uh, next week I'll have some more information about what's going on in local TV and radio. Have a good night.